Welcome to the Lead Tools ePrint 5 online video tutorial on working with task printers. To begin this tutorial, you can start by opening the ePrint workstation from the Start menu and selecting Programs, Lead Tools, ePrint 5, and then clicking the Lead Tools ePrint workstation. Once the ePrint workstation is loaded, you can navigate to the Tools option from the menu bar at the top and then select the Task Printers Manager option. The Task Printers Manager dialog can add, edit, or delete task printers. To add a new printer, first click Add. Task printers behave similarly to the ePrint printer, only they are capable of performing batch processing for a variety of tasks, such as saving to multiple formats, emailing one of the converted documents, and printing options to one or more additional printers on your system. From here you may select Next, where you'll be presented with the option to choose a name and description for your task printer. Enter the name into the text box labeled My Printer Name. In this case, we'll use the name My Task Printer. The description field is optional and can be entered under the text box labeled Description if you would like your task printer to have one. This is not a necessary step, but I will enter My Task Printer Description and then click the Next button. Task printers can perform many different kinds of tasks, and each of these must be configured in the wizard. We'll address the file saving options first, since they are the first element in the Task Printer wizard. You can activate file saving for the task printer and choose one or more file formats to save by clicking the checkbox labeled I want to save to the following file formats, like so. Notice the Add button becomes active. You may click this to open the Form Select Save Options dialog. From here you can choose the file name you wish to save by typing the file name into the text box labeled File Name. Since I will be creating a PDF for this demonstration, I will label the file My Document. You can select the file type as a document, image, or vector by selecting the option from the file type list box. Here I will select the document file type. Once this has been selected, you can then set the file format from the Save As list box. I will select PDF for this demonstration. If you are having trouble finding the format you are looking for here, check to make sure the appropriate file type has been selected. Once the file type has been selected, you can fine-tune the parameters for the output type by clicking the Options button here. The options available are related to the file format selected, so please refer to the help documentation for the options available for each specific file format. Please notice the checkbox at the bottom titled Save Using the Document Name. This option will base the name of the converted file on the name the printing application sends to the printer. It is important to note that this is not the same as the file name, as many applications will make adjustments to the name when submitting the documents for printing. This may take some experimentation to know what to expect with your printing application if you wish to use this option. Once you are satisfied with the settings for your saved file, you may click OK to return to the Save Options dialog. Depending on the way the task printer has been configured, the task printer will create the files in the same location with the same name. You can set the task printer to either overwrite an existing file by selecting the Overwrite option, or rename the files as they are saved by selecting the Rename option. If you select Rename, you can configure ePrint to create variations on the name to prevent your file from being overwritten. Please refer to the help documentation or the help video titled Renaming Options for more information on how to use this feature. You can choose to add other formats at this point by clicking the Add button and following the same procedure as before. Here I will quickly add a JPEG file to be converted titled My Image by selecting the Image Formats document type and JPEG from the Save As list and then clicking the OK button. The document sent to the task printer will be converted to all formats in this list. Once you have set all the document formats you would like to create, you can continue on to the Email Options dialog by pressing the Next button. From here you will go to the Email Settings page of the Task Printer Wizard. If you wish to automatically send one of the converted documents as an email attachment, click the box titled I want to send the generated files as email attachments. You can then select the file format you wish to attach from the drop-down list below. I'll use the JPEG attachment from before. You can choose to send the email using the default settings if you wish to use your system's default email client. If you want customization and more control over the account you wish to email from, then you can select the Directly Through SMTP Server option. Please contact your network administrator to configure the SMTP settings if you wish to choose this option. I'll select the default email program for this demonstration. If you wish to send the email without notification to the user that an email is being sent, click the Send Email Silently button. This way, ePrint will not prompt you to send the email every time you run the task printer. Uncheck this box if you would like to edit the emails as they are sent. The email settings also contain a file size warning if the attachment is larger than a size specified here. This is a warning to provide you with the ability to prompt a user if a document is larger than the attachments permitted by an email server so the user can decide on an alternate course of action. You can also clear the files after sending an email if you like by checking the box titled Clear Files After Sending Email. Once these options have been selected, click the Next button to continue. For a more comprehensive description of the emailing options from ePrint, please see the documentation titled Configuring Email Settings. 
you can select your MAPI profile from this page in the wizard. For this demonstration, I will select to use the default profile and click the Next button. The wizard will now progress to the Mail Message dialog where I can specify a list of recipients for my email. Enter your primary recipient in the To section of this list as well as any CC or BCC contacts you wish to automatically be contacted by the task printer. You may also enter a subject line and a message body to be included in the message. Once you've entered this information, click the Next button or press Finish to close the wizard with the settings you have created so far. Next, you will be prompted to choose which printers you wish to use for batch printing. You may select any printer accessible by your operating system, including additional ePrint task printers. Once you have selected the printers you wish to print to, click Next to continue or finish to complete the wizard with the settings you have entered so far. By pressing Next, you will be taken to the Document Options dialog. These settings allow you to set fail-safe printer settings in the event the application you are printing from does not provide page layout and formatting information. It is important to note that ePrint will not alter the print settings specified by another application. So in most cases, the document will be printed according to the settings from the application printing the document to the task printer. From here, you can select the paper size and orientation, as well as choose a printer you would like ePrint to emulate. To continue to the next dialog, click Next. To close the wizard and accept the changes, click Finish. From here, you progress to the last of the fail-safe printer settings specifying the DPI, or dots per inch, of the printed document. Select the settings you wish and then click Next to continue to the log file settings. From the General Options dialog, you have the option to create a log file for your task printer. The log file is a necessary element when troubleshooting problems with the task printer should you run into unexpected behavior. You can select Generate Log File and specify a path and file name to store the log file. Once you have adjusted these settings to your preferences, click Next for the task printer summary. The task printer summary lists the functions of the task printer wizard such as the file format selected, which format will be sent via email, and which printers will be printed to for batch printing. This is the last stage in the task printer creation wizard, so you may select Finish to close the wizard. When clicking Finish, you will be returned to the task printer's manager. I will close this dialog as well as the ePrint workstation for now to return to the Windows Start menu. The new task printer is now a system printer much in the way ePrint or the ePrint workstation are. You can print to them just as you can print to any other printer on your system. Select Settings and then Printers and Faxes to get a list of the printers on your system. Notice the presence of Lead Tools ePrint 5, the ePrint 5 workstation, and the new task printer titled My Task Printer. This printer will now be available to you from any application that supports printing. Now it's time for a quick demonstration of this printer before the end of this tutorial. I will open up a Word document from the My Documents folder. Select File, and then Print. From the print dialog, I will select My Task Printer as the printer I wish to use and select OK. I will then close Microsoft Word and return to the desktop where I requested for the task printer to save the files. Notice in the bottom right hand corner, the ePrint icon is active, suggesting activity within ePrint. As you can see, the files are in place and ready for use or archival. This concludes the task printer demonstration. If you have any additional questions about task printers, please email support at support at ePrinterDriver.com.